Following on from the previous two videos, in order for us to work out the surface area of an ellipsoid, we would need to evaluate this. So, uh, so we, we, we are now at this stage where we need to integrate this. So to, in, to integrate this, um, create, set up your triangle in such a way that this will make sense. So, uh, so, so set the, uh, the opposite to be root 3 times u, set the adjacent to be 1. Then the hypotenuse will have no choice but to be this thing here. So notice that this is exactly the same as this. Well, anyway, if you make your triangle to be like this, then uh, then tan tan the angle tan the angle would be opposite over adjacent would be opposite over adjacent. So um, so you well you would then equal this. So now now well we want the u here. So from here, differentiate both sides. That would then give you this, and then du uh, u would then become du here. So we can now put this into into here, and then uh, and then looking at the diagram, secant theta would be would simply be hypotenuse over one, which is this thing here. So we can put secant theta into this whole thing here. Then uh, then this whole thing here. Will then become this. Will then become. Uh, will then become this. So now tidy this up. This is a constant. So imagine this as being uh, one over root three. So it's just a fraction, a constant. Take take that fraction out. That will then give you this. And then it really boils down to you integrating um, integrating this. Now we've done this um, uh, many times and. And I've actually made a whole um, video on this, and it is quite hard to get from here to to integrate. This is quite hard. I've already made made a video on this, so track that video down if you don't understand it. Well, integrating this would then give you would then give you this, okay? Um, and then we we so so this is our answer here, but we don't want the answer in terms of theta. We would need to change this the theta back into uh, we we would need to change the theta back into the u. And then from the u, we will need to change it back into the t, and then we can we can do it from zero to uh, to pi. Well, anyway, the answer here is is this. But we we need to change the um, the theta back into the u. So hang on. Well, um, uh, hang on. Let me think. Uh, well, tidy this up. That will then take you to here, and then uh, and then uh, and then remember earlier we said the. Uh, Earlier we said uh, secant theta equals this thing here, tan theta equals this thing here. So we can put this uh, back into here, and then put this back into here, and then uh, secant theta here. So uh, so put this into here, and then uh, tan theta put it this into here. Then this whole thing here will then become this. Okay. And then, uh, and then, uh, uh, so so we are now. Or, or our answer is now in terms of u, but we still need to get from u back to t. So earlier we said let u be uh, be cosine of t. So we uh, we would need to put this into here, and then into here, and into here, and so on. So that would then take you to here. Okay. And then now everything is in terms of t. So originally we were trying to integrate from uh, from zero to pi blah 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 dt. We were trying to integrate it in terms of uh, in terms of in terms of the time. So uh, so now now that everything is back in terms of t, we can now integrate it from zero to pi. So evaluating it, it will then give you this. It will then give you this. Tidy it up, it will then give you this. And then tidy it up again, and it will blah blah blah. Overall, the answer hopefully would be approximately this. Okay.